Hey guys, it's Oliver from Spitfire Audio with an in-action video. Today I'm going to be presenting you our newest library, the Union Chapel Organ. We will be deconstructing a demo I've written, which is an extension of the teaser in case you've seen it. And I'm just going to show you an example of how you can use this absolutely fantastic uh, library. Uh, I'm just going to play you the whole piece. So what I absolutely love about this library, it's really versatile. I mean, what I love about the organ especially is you've got all these different stops and you can create loads of different sounds. So th this piece, I kind of constructed it with uh, different layers and I've chosen uh, different stops. Uh, Paul is going over uh, each of them separately in his uh, walkthrough. So for my main riff, it's um, I've chosen this Claribel flute. So that's going through the whole piece kind of in to put you in kind of trance and then here in the beginning I I um, chose the same uh, sounds or just a little bit on the offsets to create that kind of vibe here. following the harmonic structure and then really quietly coming in here it's um, a riff on a different stop sounding like this just here as you can see I fade in down here with my uh, dynamics and expression Then of course we have the pedals as well, which sound absolutely amazing, uh, really low down here. So they give you that really low and like big rumble, which is really cool. Uh, that's, that's the pedals you'd usually play with your feet on the church organ. Uh, then here we've also included some eDNA uh, patches, some uh, sounds with alts, altered and kind of uh, prepared uh, 
uh, and included it in the library. I really especially like this one, Mellow Organ Pads, which sounds like this. Then another one, uh, atmospheric one, is the scientific organ, which sounds uh, like this. Then the octave drone, which you hear in the beginning, uh, especially together with the sign, to give a little bit of uh, low end, even a little, even more. So it sounds like this. I've put a little bit of overdrive onto it here, and I've automated it. So you can see increasing the drive a little bit um, to create that kind of bitey uh, bottom end. Uh, then here in the next section, I've used um, a few stops at the same time and I've chosen the ambient and outriggers to kind of create an even bigger sound of the organ. <laughs> I absolutely love this sound. Here, uh, another stop to then come in with this arpeggio in the second part. Etc. Etc. Uh, then here I've filled uh, filled it in with some uh, with different strings. So I've got the our Albion one low octave strings, which kind of help making it bigger. Together with some uh, mural flautando patches, I've doubled up, um, if we just look into here, I've doubled them up, so they're longs flautando together with long harmonics to make it a little bit more shiny on the top. This is one of uh, Christian's tricks. I'm using it here. Um, then I've got some mural longs, normal longs, so they you will hear it. It's like um, it's a kind of a counterpoint, so you want to hear it a bit better, and it cuts through a little better. Uh, and then as well, mural uh, uh, first violin, uh, kind of a top line. And then towards the end, I have some colenio as well, it's kind of to give it a bit of a rhythm. And then an Easter Island hit on the on the big change, which is also from the Albion One uh, library. So I really hope you get to enjoy the Oregon uh, Union Chapel Oregon Library, and I hope this was uh, useful. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.